What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. Cause today Snap on Friday. The very best day of the week. So let's go. Come on. There's the man that takes everybody's money. Everybody's money. Hey, you got some toolboxes on here? I can afford. That's what I'm talking about. I heard that. I might not have to finance them, but about 12 months. I knew you said you're looking for some uh, mower. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder the old song gonna look like. Mm-hmm. Man, them funnel buddies are cool, ain't they? I used the heck out of mine. I now. like them. I never even knew they had them until I seen that one on the Mac coat or the Mac truck that day. Yeah. Those things are freaking awesome, man. I've had one in my shop for a while and then the uh, I never really were like in I say in the shop, in the box in the shop, never really paid no attention to it. And then uh motorcycle shop I stop at, they wanted one, so I took it to them and seen what how They're they cool used the stuff. I was work. like, Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely cool. Yeah, because you always don't tear holding a bag or something. Of course, when you throw you oil and transmission fluid containers in there, they're going to leak out and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more of them blue point pinion bearing pullers? Uh, don't I think was I telling the guy good. about how great them worked. High vis inspection camera. I think somebody trade in some sockets. Yeah. You buddy down there. This one right here is the one you're talking about, right? Yep. Yeah. That's it. I told him if he'd get one of them, that'll make his life a whole lot easier. Uh, yeah. Things worth their weight in gold right there. Uh, yeah, I'll get him one on the way. Well, what new stuff you got this week? Any um, 100th anniversary stuff? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't got any more 100th anniversary stuff in. Uh, try to think. We got just some more tools. And the, or I threw this on here this morning. The high-vis brute. High-vis brute? I think I had the high-vis ones before. Mm -hmm. I got the, mine's a quarter inch. The high-vis I bought. Yeah. Yep. Somebody was asking me the other day, they wanted to buy one and they was thinking about the long neck brute or the long neck regular one. And they said, well, what's your opinion? I said, I like the brute without a doubt, but the damn thing's slow. Mm -hmm. It's strong, but it's slow. I said, I break everything loose with mine manually and then mash the button. I said, now the brute's good for when it's hard to get to places that you can't really ratchet. Yep. It'll run it in and run it out all the way. But 99% of the time, I use my regular long neck versus the brute, just because of the speed of it. Yeah. On the, well, I don't have a long neck brute in my box. I got the short one. And the reason why I, was, I went with the short one myself was because I already had the regular short 3.8s, and I got the long neck 3.8s. Mm -hmm. like, but... I wanted the brute because of the power, so I just went with the short instead of the long because, like I said, I don't use the long as much. Uh, I mean, spark plugs and stuff like that. Yeah. Most thing I'm working on now is either gonna be my tractor or my race car. Well, up under the hooded race car, everything's wide open, so yeah. I can get in there with the short neck. So that's the reason I went with the brute. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still I kept my regular one Do too. Do you catch yourself using one more than the other? Uh, probably the regular one. More. Just for the speed? Just because of the speed. Yeah. But those are nice to have. Like, you know, I've been in situations where, you know, you really couldn't ratchet stuff, you know. Yeah. And I'm lazy. If I can use a power tool, I'm going to use a power tool. That's like, the, I got uh, she found there every type of ratchet that you can think of in my tool box. Well, no, I'd say that. I probably got 15 ratchets in my tool box. <laughs> that ain't nothing. No. <laughs> that ain't nothing. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the only ratchet that I will 
grab i don't know why or the one i use more than any of them hand ratchet wise is the hundred tooth with the head that swivels round that's my favorite ratchet the round headed one mm -hmm. see i'm not that big a fan i got one of those and i thought man this thing's gonna be great i just so that's to me that's my why. favorite one i got the uh I guess because it's so fat, the head's so fat on yeah. the trees, and I don't like it. Oh, well, we got these in the other day. I'm sure everybody's seen them already, too. Oh, them some big but, ranches, right? Uh, That's yeah. lug nut ranches. Yeah. Take lug nuts loose with you. But, <laughs> and I went ahead and bought one of these myself. No, you just, didn't. You just put it on truck account. <laughs> <laughs> and run my car at every Friday. That's it. On payday. But uh, I was trying to figure out which one of these I'd want. I'm like I said, I'm not sure why. See, with those, I, I think I'd want the flex head. I went with because the flex head. Because if it's that tight a spot that you need the little short one. You can do. I think the, uh, the flex one. head would work better. And, I mean. You like, you ain't putting much torque on nothing if you're using you them. You ain't putting much torque on that anyway because you can't. Right. So, I'm thinking, like, in my brain, I, I said, well, why don't I just buy a palm ratchet? Yeah. Or one of those, what do they call them, finger ratchets or whatever? Yeah. The little, yeah, the little. Or they're about this big, the palm ones. Yeah, yeah the little bitty ones. Um, I got two half inch ratchets in my box. The small one like this. Mm -hmm. And then I got the big long one yep. like this without the lock on it. Uh, See, I right. catch myself using that one even for stuff like drain plugs and crap like that because everybody wants to put them in so tight. Especially like on a big truck. I'll stick that on there crack it loose and then spin it out with my finger. I don't know why. I don't put them to, back in with it. I use it to take them out with. Everybody wants to test their manhood on drain, drain plugs, plugs for some reason or another. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean, it just, But now like, you know, in defense, a caterpillar drain plug, you can put that thing in there finger tight and run it for 3,000 miles and it's probably 200 foot pounds. Vibration. It it vibration. <laughs> for some reason, but a caterpillar seems to be the worst. But. Yeah. I don't know. I catch myself, you know, I guess because I'm getting older and maybe I'm smarter, but I don't strain pulling stuff no more. I just get a longer ratchet. Yeah. You know? Like I said, I got, yeah. I'll either, and I don't strain, but I may cuss more. I'm either going to break something off or whatever, but at least I'm not straining while I'm doing it. I ain't got no problem with the cussing part. We can get down with that part of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I certainly don't, don't want to do the work part of it. That's the hard part. Yep. And there was another guy asking about those spring-loaded punches. He's like, how did that punch leave them marks in that vice? I was like, they bad. that's a bad dude. They, they're bad. So if you got those part numbers for that, he yeah. was wanting to, to see them. I think you had that set still, unless yeah, I you got, sold I it. sold once I got two sets left. SPHD set four. There you go. That's the part. And number. that's what they look like. Well, that's or that's two of them. Some of them look like. Yeah. Here's the open pack so you can see all four of them. And when you pull that spring back on that thing. She gone to the town. She gone. It's just a, looks like a spring around a punch. Yep. That's like, it got some, I mean, that ain't no light spring. You can see how thick that sucker is up there. Yep. But yeah, she, Pull that joker back and let it go on your finger and see what happens. Mm -mm. Now, set yours right here, though. We'd, <laughs> Try it on mine. Yeah. We'll use this one. That way it don't hurt so bad. Ooh, cut it off. <laughs> it probably could. It probably That's like a sharp, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I say you need to put your finger up there. I need you're all tougher mine. tougher than I am. I see, I'm mad enough to admit you're tougher than I am. I ain't tough. <laughs> No, you ain't stupid. Uh -uh. If Thomas was here, what would he do? Oh, he put Go his ahead. hand in there. <laughs> Two of them at one time. He's tough them. and dumb, ain't yeah. he? No, Thomas ain't dumb. I'm just playing. Thomas is a good boy. Thomas, yeah, very good boy. He is tough, though. Tough as a pine knot. He is. Uh, it's like a bay in there. A little old bitty nipple on that thing, in it? Oh, it pulls in with it? Yeah, that one does. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice that way you could hold it still in that, you know, exact spot that you want yeah. to do it in. These are I'm some bad dudes, I know that. To leave holes in a vice. Especially that vice. 
I done, I think, maybe three of these. Thomas done the rest of them. And there's a bunch on here, too, I grinded down. <laughs> <laughs> he left his mark for you. He wanted to yeah. make sure you can remember him. <laughs> but uh, there was a guy that, you know, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, he left uh, some a comment on one of my videos, wanted to email me some pictures. And it was... Uh, his name is Junior Favla. If I messed your last name up, name up I'm sorry. But uh, he supports breast cancer and bought a cool pink toolbox. Looks like an 84 inch Epic with uh, double side lockers. Oh yeah, that's nice right there. Had it decked out in breast cancer. So I'll put the pictures and that way you guys can check it out. It's pretty cool. Looks like titanium trim on there too. I like that titanium. For a sharp, sharp read. That's so. a, uh, that's a sharp box. So he wanted to uh, let us include that in the video this week. So that's pretty cool. People's kind of rallying behind that. Yeah, that's a, a good one to get behind right there for sure. Yep. Any of them that they can help with is a good one to get behind. You're right. Well, what? Have we got anything on here we ain't looked at or checked out yet or? Um, uh, so what else? I put, oh, we got our, uh, new coats in this year. Really? Are they as nice as the last year coats? Well, they had, actually had multiple options this year. And, uh, I went with the thinner style ones mm -hmm. compared to the thicker ones because I've done. So that's why I wore that crap out of that jacket I got from you last year. That joker is fine. Yeah. Like, that is... I've got a North Face jacket, a bunch of jackets, but that is probably the perfect weight, the one that you had last year. Yeah. I didn't realize this was a 3X, so I just pulled it out. But That's a nice jacket. Yeah. Good. It's a very similar to the one that I wear all the time that I got up on the back of my seat. But mine mm -hmm. don't have the... Oh, it's got the 100th logo. On the side of it. there. Boy, ain't that cool. I was actually going to start running these next week, but through, <coughs> excuse me, there's a shop here in town wanting to buy them for their, all the guys working for them, yeah. all the drivers, and they have their names and stuff put in them. Heck yeah. So we going to check that out. Are they taking applications? <laughs> they might would be, I'm sure. <laughs> if they buy coats that nice, they got to be a good <laughs> shop to work for. Yeah, they might would for sure. Yep. But yeah, they, uh, so that's made pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Those are cool looking coats. Well, guys, I guess we're going to turn this thing off and get back to work. And that was the that's customers like that, get back to work. Look forward to the weekend. Thank goodness. Finally, Friday. All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here. If you want some merchandise, cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff, thumbs up and click that subscribe. You, you take your finger and you press that button. Press it right there. You'll be subscribed. <laughs> Y'all have a great week. See ya.